the smallest structures of the organism, they make up lots of things, kind of like this prism. Cell theory, they're like living pieces of matter that make up everything even your bladder. Cell membrane, the membrane around the cytoplasm, and let me tell ya, it's hard to sing this rap with enthusiasm. The nucleus sits smack in the middle cell, bringing in the senoritas like Taco Bell. Now stop, cause we're coming up to eukaryotes, where the genetic material forms some chromosomes like a crap ton of goats do, that doesn't even make any sense. The prokaryotes are super simple, they're unicellular, you see, as easy as popping a pimple, which is nasty if you ask me. Cytoplasm, the stuff inside the cell, not the nucleus, cause it's as wimpy as Tinker Bell. Vacuoles are pockets filled with liquid, here's a visual for ya, and how about you find a rhyme of liquid? All snap. Lysosomes, an organelle in the cytoplasm of the eukaryotic cells, containing degradative enzymes enclosed in the dang membrane like a G gazelle. The cytoskeleton is the lattice of a cell made of microtubules in the cytoplasm, it controls cell shape, trust me, that ain't sarcasm. Organelles, wait, isn't that, like, just everything in the cell? Oh well. Centrioles, occurring in pairs, unlike me, involved in the development in stental fibers and cell splitting. And a plasmic reticulum, a network of tubules in the cytoplasm of a chronic cell, involved in lipid synthesis, running out of my rhyming game so I'm just gonna say dentist. W what? Ritosomes, no they're not freezing, they bind messenger RNA, transferred to synthesize protein. Lipid bilayer, a polar membrane made of two layers of lipid molecules, yeah, that's right, it's even in the fools. Chloroplasts, organelles found in plant cells that conduct photosynthesis, as you know, it's quite infamous. Mitochondria, organelles that can be considered the power generators of a cell, any of this ringing the bell? We're gonna build a wall and the cells are gonna pay for it, cell wall, a layer of polysaccharides outside the membrane of, and if we weren't 20 trillion under, we'd get shovels to make a pit. Golgi apparatus is not for one with a high status, it is another packaging organelle like the endoplasmic reticulum. Selectively permeable, a cell membrane that lets some molecules pass through active or passive transport, not something you can really do for a sport. So in conclusion, diffusion, the passive movement of particles from higher to lower concentration who, that one really gets your words accrued. Facilitated diffusion, spontaneous passive transport of molecules across a biological membrane, and it ain't no illusion. Aquaprin, it's integral membrane proteins that serve as channels in the transfer of water, it's not magic like in Harry Potter. Osmosis, where molecules go through a semi-permeable membrane from a less concentrated solution to a concentrated one, that's right, we're still ain't done. Isotonic, refers to two solutions having the same osmotic pressure, across a semi-permeable membrane now that's a refresher. Hypertonic, where the concentration of solutes is greater outside the cell than inside, oh well, at least I tried. Hypotonic, any solution that has a lower osmotic pressure than another solution, don't even complain about the video's resolution. Osmotic pressure, the minimum pressure to stop inward flow of water across the semi-permeable membrane, let me just say, this song brings me great pain. Homeostasis, the tendency toward a relatively stable equilibrium between interdependent elements, it even happens in our superintendent. Organ, a group of tissues in a living organism that have been adapted to perform a specific function, you better hope they don't malfunction. Receptor an organ or a cell able to respond to light, heat, or anything IL. Tissue, a cellular organizational level between cells and a complete organ, it's in those kinda creepy gorgons. Organ system, a group of organs that work together to do functions, and due to an injunction, we can't continue, for this song, we should feel deep compunction. The nucleus is a no organelle found in eukaryotic cells. Inside its fully enclosed nuclear membrane, it contains the majority of the cell's genetic material. This material is organized as DNA molecules, along with a variety of proteins, to form chromosomes. Vacuoles, these membrane-bound structures are basically just enclosed compartments that are filled with both inorganic and organic molecules, along with water to support the organelle. Lysosomes are organelles that contain digestive enzymes. They digest excess or worn-out organelles, food particles, and engulfed viruses or bacteria. Cytoskeleton, they make up the centrioles in the cell, they are the base of both the flagella and cilia of a cell, and they function as the pathway that the transport vesicles move along. 
chloroplasts work to convert light energy of the sun into sugars that can be used by cells. Mitochondria The most prominent roles of mitochondria are to produce the energy currency of the cell, ATP, that is, phosphorylation of ADP, through respiration, and to regulate cellular metabolism. The central set of reactions involved in ATP production are collectively known as the citric acid cycle, or the Krebs cycle. Cell membrane The basic function of the cell membrane is to protect the cell from its surroundings. It consists of the lipid bilayer with embedded proteins. Cell wall The plant cell wall is composed of cellulose. Cellulose is a structural carbohydrate and is considered a complex sugar because it is used in both protection and structure. The plant cell wall consists of three layers. Each layer has its own unique structure and function. The Golgi apparatus is an organelle present in most eukaryotic cells. It is made up of membrane-bound sacs, and is also called a Golgi body, Golgi complex, or dictyosome. The job of the Golgi apparatus is to process and bundle macromolecules like proteins and lipids as they were synthesized within the cell. Ribosomes are a cell structure that makes protein. Protein is needed for many cell functions such as repairing damage or directing chemical processes. Ribosomes can be found floating within the cytoplasm or attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum serves many general functions, including the folding of protein molecules in sacs called cisternae and the transport of synthesized proteins in vesicles to the Golgi apparatus. Organelles that build proteins the cell goes through the steps of making proteins that include ribosomes, endoplasmic reticulum, vacuoles, and Golgi apparatus. The organelles that store, clean up, and support. Vacuoles and vesicle. Vacuoles store materials like water, protein, salt, and sugar. Vesicles store and move materials between organelles and in and out of cells. The organelles that capture and release energy. Chloroplasts and mitochondria. Chloroplasts capture energy from the sun to convert food and mitochondria are involved in a process called respiration. Respiration is the process of converting sugars to ATP, the energy form used by cells for all activities. The organelles that qualify as cell boundaries, cytoplasm and cell walls along with the cell membrane. Passive transport, the movement of ions and other atomic substances across cell membranes without need of energy input. Unlike active transport, it does not require an input of cellular energy because it is instead driven by the tendency of the system to grow in entropy. Facilitated diffusion, spontaneous passive transport, as opposed to active transport of molecules or ions across a biological membrane via specific transmembrane integral proteins. Osmosis, a process by which molecules of a solvent tend to pass through a semipermeable membrane from a less concentrated solution into a more concentrated one, thus equalizing the concentrations on each side of the membrane. Two examples of osmosis. Making French fries, more salt makes the French fries more crispy and less soggy. This is done by press soaking the potatoes in salt water before frying. Saline drips at the hospital, the same ratio of salt water as your cells. Active transport, the movement of ions or molecules across a cell membrane into a region of higher concentration, assisted by enzymes and requiring energy. It like having to push lead through a pencil tip. Compare and contrast endocytosis and exocytosis. They are both found in the cell vacuole but the endocytosis forms the layers of the vacuoles and the exocytosis is released to the exterior through fusion. Explain what multicellular and unicellular organisms do to maintain homeostasis unicellular grow and respond to the environment when the multicellular perform specialized communicate with each other. Hiya, Georgie!